Hello and welcome to another Spruz and Bruise unboxing video. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the next wave of the Astra Militarum. So we've obviously already had the Codex, the Rogal Dawn Battle Tank, and um, things like that. Um, but today we've got the Cadian Castellan, we've got the Atalan Rough Riders, and we've got the new Commissar, as well as Cadian upgrades as well. So our thanks uh, straight away to Games Workshop for sending these to unbox. So, some time has passed since we unboxed these Cadian or Astra Militarum kits. Um, and it's time to see what I've managed to do. Now, I have been a little bit under the weather, so I didn't quite get to build and paint everything. But I did manage to get them all built, and I have managed to put some paint on some of them. So, we're going to look at the Rough Riders first. Um, so, as you can see, unfortunately, I didn't get to paint these guys. However, I have undercoated them. Mechanica Standard Grey, ready to paint um, these were really fun to build, no problems at all. The lances are quite thin, so be very, very careful um, that you don't snap them when taking them off the sprue. Um, but yeah, a really nice build, says one of them. The uh, They come with two types of lances. Um, this one's like your frag version. Uh, for, yeah. Um, yeah, basically three types. The, the frag in this one, which I think is the melter one, it makes no difference which ones you build them with. You can build them all the same or you can build them mix and match or whatever. Um, you get basically choose which option you're going to use when you're, when you're in combat. Um, there is there is one type of lance, so this is the, the only other one that you can build, is the goad lance. So you get one of those on the sprue. One in five can be equipped with that. And basically it does like exploding hits and stuff when you use it. And I think it does mortal wounds to vehicles as well. So I thought it's worth building one of those. But it's a really nice detailed kit, as you can see. It's a shame I didn't get to paint them, um, or at least paint one. But um, they were really, really nice to go together. Put that one down there. Got two more to go. So this one. Again, very, very nice. And finally, we've got the leader who I've armed with a power saber. You get one of those on the sprue. So he's, he's got his lance kind of over his shoulder by a strap. And he's got his power saber aloft there. Again, very, very cool. You got loads of different face options, uh, which is really nice. Um, yeah, just all in all, a very, very nice kit. And they look like they're quite good in the actual game as well. I can't wait to try them out, which I should be very soon. So, um, before we move on to the painting models, um, I of course unboxed the Cadian Upgrade Pack. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have any shock troops left to build um, any of those options with. Um, I did try them on the infantry squad, uh, and they did look a little bit odd, the, the older sort of Cadian shock troop units. Um, so, I think you, you do really want to use them on the new Cadian shock troop uh, models. I did build, or kind of half built, mainly built, the tank commander. Now I mentioned in the earlier on in the video, I was hoping to be able to squeeze him into a, a Lehman Russ. Uh, apologies, there's quite a bit of um, shadow. I've played around with my lighting, but I can't seem to quite get it right tonight for some reason, or this afternoon. So he's cool. I, I am going to give him the sword arm, but I didn't completely build him because I wasn't quite sure what he was going to go into. In the instruction manuals, as you remember, it says he needs to go into a Rogal Dawn. I have got a partly built turret here for a Lehman Ross, and he, he's just too small. Um, just try and get that to focus. As you can see, there's quite a bit of a gap there. You could probably green stuff or something to get him to fit in there, um, but I wanted to really paint him separate and then have him kind of click in. So I might have to treat myself to another Rogal Dawn and put him in that. Um, but he, he is a really nice, um, well, half a mini. Again, apologies for the shadows. Not sure what's going on with my lighting um, this afternoon. Um, so that's him. Um, now on to some painted stuff. So I did manage to paint the Commissa. He is a really nice model. Uh, not too sure on my choice of colours, that, that's the green I've used for my guardsman, I thought I'd use that on his chainsaw and his pistol, I'm not quite sure that works, I might end up repainting those, 
but he, himself like his hat and his coat um i'm really happy with i've just got to finish his base um but he is a really nice committer and he'll be issuing out some some orders again apologies my uh lighting and stuff tonight just doesn't seem to be working uh and finally we've got the cadian castella now i was struggling to decide what to how to build this guy but i have ended up going with the last pistol and power fist option uh, and i've gone for the face as well which i don't think you've seen in any of the images it actually has a really nice mustache which i've just picked out there with um some brown paint i think it was gold onto fur i think um, again, I've got his face to finish, but he's a really nice model. Really pleased with how he's turned out. Lots of options. You can, um, obviously, as we saw earlier on the video, you can give him a power sword or, you know, pretty much whatever you want, plasma pistol. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the setup I went for. So yeah, really happy with him. Uh, really happy with these new kits. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do let us know if you plan on picking any of these up. Um, as that they are now on pre-order so uh, let us know if you've managed to snap any up um and what you're looking forward to building next weekend when you get your hands on them uh my thanks again to games workshop for sending these kits for us to unbox paint and review for you guys um there will be a post to accompany this video over on spruceandbruce.com and we have also just finished recording our first crusade battle report um which will be going live um hopefully very very soon once we've got that edited and uploaded um, my thanks for watching this video. Uh, we'll be, I'll be back again very soon. Until then, have a great time hobbying, and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye! Power sword or a chain sword, then he's got a last pistol uh, in his other hand. Um, so it looks like we've got at least set an option on here. So let's get this box open. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprue. So it's just one little sprue for this guy, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, it looks like he just has the one pistol option, a last pistol. Can't remember in the codex if you can be given anything else. Um, I'll have to check that. Hopefully, I'll come back to the end of the video. So obviously, got his chain sword and his power sword. Um, looks dead easy to put together. A nice little rock for him to stand on. Just the one head option, and there's the back of that spirit as well. Just a nice, straightforward. You know, not. The most dramatic of poses, but still a still a nice mini uh, that I'm looking forward to building. And then we've got his instructions, which look super straightforward. And again, you've got his um, the only option there is his melee weapon. I think I'm going to give mine a chain sword. I think that's cool. I've got quite a few power swords knocking around my army already. So yeah, chain sword for my commissar. I think. Um, so that's a nice quick look. And obviously, his base is in there as well. A nice quick look at the the commissar. Not really a lot to say. Um, we've had Commissars in the Astro Militarum for a while. Um, nice new model um, to go with the new wave. Um, let's crack on with the next box. Okay, so we're moving on to the third box of this wave of releases, and it's the Cadian Castellan. So this is like going to be most people's warlords. I think it's definitely going to be mine uh, in my battles. Um, it's kind of a lone HQ choice away from your company command squad, uh, able to issue out a couple of orders. And I think he's also got a reroll order aura. I should have really had my guard codex to hand. Um, so this guy I've really been looking forward to because he's a really nicely detailed um, model. And what I also love, which I've already mentioned in this video, is the customization. This guy has got all of the options. Um, so already looking at the back of the box, I see what three different heads there. Um, we've got a chain sword. We've got a power fist. We've got a power sword. We've got a, I think that's a bolt gun. We've got a power sword. Uh, sorry, I already said power sword. A uh, plasma pistol there as well as our last pistol. So this guy's rocking all of the types of um, weapon options, um, which is very cool. I really like that. Um, nice pose as well with all the different weapons. So yeah, let's check out his sprues. So first and foremost, we've got the base. Nice little small base for him. And then we'll check out the sprue so what do we have on here so yeah we've got all the different weapon options um nice little scenic base looks like um mud with like the track marks of a tank on there that's really cool can't really tell that from the box uh nice chainsaw his power sword um is that his power fist there yep is that his power fist there i think actually the power fist is what i'm going to go for i've got at the moment uh in the couple of games with the, the guard books that i've used for my Castellan, I've been using an old metal 
I think he was um, uh, what used to be like a platoon commander um, with like a power fist and a last pistol. This guy might be the replacement for him and I might build him in the same style. Oh, actually, I might swap his last pistol for a plasma pistol, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, confirming we've got the three different heads there. Um, again, looks pretty straightforward to go together. It's just cool to have these HQ choices with a plethora of um, different options. In fact, you've even got two different um, sheaths there for, the, for his sword. One with and one without it. Huh. That's very cool. That's really cool. Um, so I'll pop that down there. And then we've got the Castellan's instructions here. So, um, oh, there you go. Straight away, we've got a variant build there. So um, his body can be tilted slightly differently, which I never noticed. It's very cool. How to build both variants. Oh, I see. So it also affects the way his arm goes. Nice. Oh, huh, that's cool. Love it when you've got different variants. Uh, and then we've got his plasma pistol, last pistol options, or you can be, of course, be pointing. And then, depending on which, oops, sorry, depends on which melee weapon you want to give him. And obviously his uh, sword sheath as well. Put his backpack on. And then the finished article. Yeah, really nice model. Really look at this might be the first guy I build and paint actually. And of course, um, as always, you've got a quick reference of his stats on the back without his special rules. Um helpful for trying to decide which weapon options to give him. Oh, you've got a bolt gun, last pistol, and plasma pistol. Sorry, I didn't miss the bolt pistol. I miss the bolt pistol even. So he's cool. I think he's going to be the first guy that I build and paint from um, from this wave. Uh, but we do have one final box to open. So bear with me. So I know fellow Spruce and Brews member Matt was super excited to see these revealed because he um, loves using his def, uh, def core um, and they have their Death Riders. Um, so these aren't Death Riders, but they're very similar. The new Atalan Rough Riders. So these look like a really cool unit. Um, I actually got to see these on a Warhammer Plus battle report a couple of weeks ago. If you've, if you've got a Warhammer Plus subscription, check it out. Um, these guys look like they can do the business uh, on the charge. A um, little bit of a glass cannon, but um, a really punchy melee unit, which is something the guard don't really have an awful lot of. So flip this box over. So yeah, a unit of five. Um, I believe they've got different lance options. I and mean, you can see straight away there, that one's slightly different. That's the goad lance. And then I think these are all frag lances. But we'll see when we open up um, and check out the sprues. But yeah, really nice models. Who thought we'd see horses returning to uh, the battlefields of the 41st millennium? So first and foremost, we've got the five bases, five overall bases, we'll pop this one side. Um, straight away, um, which I thought was a slightly unusual move, we've got the, the Cadian transfer sheet, um, the new one from uh, the Cadian stands box, and you can also get the shock troops box and stuff as well, um, which is a really nice um, transfer. But what also you get is the vehicle transfer sheet as well. Um, so I'm just going to have a quick look at the box, and I don't see any... Vehicle transfers on horses. Um, so it's an interesting choice to include that. Um, maybe it's because of these sort of see the icons here. I'm not sure. But it's an interesting choice. Um, but there you go. You've also got a, a vehicle transfer sheet in here as well. Unless mine's been packed slightly wrong. But um, hey, I'll, uh, I'll take that. I'll take an extra vehicle sprue. So these guys are spread out across three sprues. So let's check those out now. We've got all the heads up here. Looks like your sergeant's got a bit more of a, a, a fancier plume on his. Um, all the bodies seem to be on this sprue. It looks like two complete whole, well, maybe one complete horse. Different sort of accessories for you guys. They're all, yeah, I think they're all, um, they might be your melter tips there for your spears. So they come separate. 
Uh, lances even, not spears. Lances, aren't they? That's, a, that's the first sprue. Plenty more horses on this one. Really detailed kit. Got a sheathed um, power saber there. Your lances look quite thin. They look a little bit thicker in the pictures. But that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just be careful when you're taking them off the sprue. Careful they don't snap. Uh, and be careful with them in transport, of course. So that's the second sprue. Oh, I like the fact that the horse have got some like the runes on the, the base of them to try and make them a bit more stable. A bit easier to glue to your bases. And then we've got the final sprue. Which looks a little similar. And you've got a few little accessories for all you guys on there. More lances. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. A very, very nice kit. I think Matt's on about um, giving his um, sort of gas mask heads to, to, you know, they look like Death Riders. But that's the thing with like the new Cadian range. Um, I think it's quite easy to kind of make it your own, um, depending on what regiment you prefer. Um, we've got the instructions here. So let's open these up. Um, so you've got build variants here, uh, interchangeable parts. A couple of variants here as well. So you've got your sergeant, or you've just got a typical rough rider. In case you want to up your unit to 10, so you don't have to always build one as a sergeant. Any different tips for your lances. Let's say anywhere which one's which. I'll probably say on the back page, actually. So they don't look too bad to put together. A few little accessories that might be a little bit of a fiddle to put on. But the main bulk of the model is quite uh, easy to do. Like I say, just be careful with those lances. Make sure you don't snap them. Last guy there as well. Quite straightforward to do, I think. There we go. There's your unit all ready to roll. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the back. So th this is what this is good for, um, knowing what you know what each of the weapons are. Um, so that one that looks like a bit like a grenade, number five, that is uh, that is your your melt one, I think. Yeah. You know, your goad, goad lance. It's very cool. Yeah, really nice kit. Looking forward to building those up and especially using them in the battle, um, in, in battles, because um, they do appear to be a very strong unit. Um, you know, I think there's, there's still low toughness, I think the toughness three. Um, I know the toughness four. That's cool. Uh, makes them slightly harder to kill. Um, but they are still a bit more of a, a sort of glass cannon, but they do hit quite hard on the charge. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to, to, to building those. So that's that's all the boxes um, unboxed uh, for you. Um, I am going to um, get some of these built up and hopefully painted. So hopefully, in a transitions time, we'll be able to see some of these models built. So, some time has passed since we unboxed these Cadian or Astra Militarum kits. Um, and it's time to see what I've managed to do. Now, I have been a little bit under the weather. So, I didn't quite get to build and paint everything. But I did manage to get them all built. And I have managed to put some paint on some of them. So, we're going to look at the Rough Riders first. Um, so, as you can see, unfortunately, I didn't get to paint these guys. However, I have undercoated them. Mechanica Standard Grey, ready to paint um, these were really fun to build, no problems at all. The lances are quite thin, so be very, very careful um, that you don't snap them when taking them off the sprue. Um, but yeah, a really nice build, says one of them. The uh, They come with two types of lances. Um, this one's like your frag version. Uh, for, yeah. Um, yeah, basically three types. The, the frag in this one, which I think is the melter one, it makes no difference which ones you build them with. You can build them all the same or you can build them mix and match or whatever. Um, you get basically choose which option you're going to use when you're, when you're in combat. Um, 
there is there is one type of lance so this is the the only other one that you can build is the goad lance so you get one of those on the sprue one in five can be equipped with that and basically just like exploding hits and stuff when you use it and i think it does mortal wounds to vehicles as well so far it's worth building one of those but it's a really nice detailed kit as you can see it's a shame i didn't get to paint them um or at least paint one but um they were really really nice to go together put that one down there got two more to go so this one again very very nice And finally, we've got the leader, who I've armed with a power saber. You get one of those on the sprue. So he's, he's got his lance kind of over his shoulder by a strap. And he's got his power saber aloft there. Again, very, very cool. You've got loads of different face options, uh, which is really nice. Um, yeah, just all in all, a very, very nice kit. And they look like they're quite good in the actual game as well. I can't wait to try them out, which I should be very soon. So, um, before we move on to the painting models, um, I of course unboxed the Cadian Upgrade Pack. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have any Shock Troops left to build um, any of those options with. Um, I did try them on the Infantry Squad, uh, and they did look a little bit odd, the, the older sort of Cadian Shock Troop units. Um, so, I think you, you do really want to use them on the new Cadian Shock Troop uh, models. I did build, or kind of half built, mainly built, the tank commander now i mentioned in the earlier on in the video i was hoping to be able to squeeze him into a, a lehman russ uh apologies there's quite a bit of um shadow i've played around with my lighting but i can't seem to quite get it right tonight for some reason or this afternoon so he's cool i, I am going to give him the sword arm but i didn't completely build him because i wasn't quite sure what he was going to go into in the instruction manuals as you remember it says he needs to go into a rogal dawn i have got a partly built turret here for lehman ross and he he's just too small um just try and get that to focus if you can see there's quite a bit of a gap there you could probably green stuff or something to get him to fit in there um but i wanted to really paint him separate and then have him kind of click in, so I might have to treat myself to another Rogal Dawn and put him in that. Um, but he, he is a really nice, um, well, half a mini. Again, apologies to the shadows. Not sure what's going on with my lighting um, this afternoon. Um, so that's him. Um, now, on to some painted stuff. So, I did manage to paint the Commissa. He is a really nice model. Uh, not too sure on my choice of colors that that's the green i've used for my guardsman i thought i'd use that on his chainsaw and his pistol I'm not quite sure that works i might end up repainting those but hit himself like his hat and his coat um i'm really happy with i've just got to finish his base um but he is a really nice commissa and he'll be issuing out some some orders again apologies my uh, lighting and stuff tonight just doesn't seem to be working uh and finally We've got the Cadian Castellan. Now I was struggling to decide what to how to build this guy, but I have ended up going with the last pistol and power fist option. Uh, and I've gone for the face as well, which I don't think you see in any of the images. It actually has a really nice mustache, which I've just picked out there with um, some brown paint. I think it was Gore onto Fur, I think. Um again I've got his face to finish, but he's a really nice model. Really pleased with how he's turned out. Lots of options. You can, um, obviously, as we saw earlier on the video, you can give him a power sword or, you know, pr pretty much whatever you want, plasma pistol. Um, but, yeah, that's the that's the setup I went for. So, yeah, really happy with him. Uh, really happy with these new kits. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, do let us know if you plan on picking any of these up um, as they are now on pre-order. So, uh, let us know if you've managed to snap any up um, and what you're looking forward to building next weekend when you get your hands on them. Uh, my thanks again to Games Workshop for sending these kits for us to unbox, paint and review for you guys. Um, there will be a post to accompany this video over on sprucesandbrews.com. And we have also just finished recording our first Crusade Battle Report, um, which will be going live um, hopefully very, very soon once we've got that edited and uploaded. 
Um, my thanks for watching this video. Uh, we'll be, I'll be back again very soon. Until then, have a great time hobbying, and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye!